How's it going everyone? So the other day I was going through some of the comments in my last video and the top comment was saying I should go after some more carp on the fly so today that is exactly what we're doing. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've gone after some carp and they're tons of fun to catch. I've obviously been distracted by pike and all those other fish. So either way though I'm going to start off by tying up the fly because you guys seem to enjoy that style of video and then I'm going to go out and fish with it. So the fly we're going to be tying up though is a variation of the hybrid carp fly made by John Montana. Um, it's a very simple and easy fly to tie. I caught a ton of fish on this pattern. Hopefully after seeing this video you'll be able to tie one up for yourself and maybe catch some carp for your own. So enough talking though, let's tie up this fly and then get to catching. Got him, got him, nice. Finally. Oh my gosh, it took so long. That carp was sitting under that log. There's a little logs under the water over there. And he was sitting around that, sucking stuff off the bottom. Finally came out and grabbed my fly. Sweet. It did not take too long, but I say for probably about 15 or 20 minutes, I've done much longer for carp on the fly before. Now I've got to get him away from these snags, which he's trying to go towards. He's got a few friends over there too. I'm not trying to not, you know, scare them all away. Come on, don't. He's right next to that log. Right next to that log. Man, carp on the fly are they're very difficult to catch. Um, mostly just trying not to scare them. If you can get towards them and cast to them without scaring them, usually it's not that difficult to uh, catch them. But I mean, by far the biggest part you scare so many carp when you're trying to sneak up on them in clear water. Okay guys, and here's the first carp on the fly of the day. A great looking carp, nothing very big at all, but I mean any day you can take a carp on the fly is a great day. Nice healthy thick fish, so let's get it back and maybe get a few more. Super just thick fish, really good looking carp. All right, guys, I see a nice one. Oh, he's chasing it, he's chasing it. Got him, oh, oh my gosh, that was not the same one. Oh, broke me off, dang it. He wrapped under a log and broke me off right away. That was cool, but that, that wasn't that big of a carp, but I saw a really nice one feeding on the bottom. I cast it over to him and that carp, right when I hit the water, I saw another carp beeline right to my fly. He grabbed it, I set the hook, he jumped out of the water, wrapped under a log. And then you guys know the rest, it was over from there. So that sucked. That was a very short lived fight. My second hookup of the day and not long after that first one you guys just saw. So, oh well, that sucks. I'll have to tie on a new fly, but there are carp in here. So hopefully we can get a few more.
Come on, come on. Got him, got him. There we go, guys. Finally, get him over that log. Where he, the other one broke me off. No, come on, get over that, get over that, get over that. Don't want to scare all these other carp, but I'm going to if I'm trying to keep this one on without him breaking me off. That's the thing is, my biggest problem, and probably a lot of people share this problem, when you're fly fishing for carp, especially in rivers, you're almost always fishing for, or like fishing around structure. There we go, got him over it. You're almost always fishing over structure. Like you can see all these logs all around me. I have logs surrounding me. And those carp like hanging around that, it's the easiest spot to find them. But right when you hook them, they go right for those logs. And it is super hard to keep them on sometimes. I would definitely suggest going for carp on the fly if you guys have never tried it. I mean, it's very challenging. You'll have to sit there for a long time and watch those carp, uh, kind of, you know, feel them out, see what kind of mood they're in sometimes. Um, but when you get one finally to grab the fly, it is so much fun. They call it the poor man's bonefish or the freshwater bonefish. I don't know if they're quite that hard, but they are a blast. Okay, and here's the second carp of the day, another great looking fish. Looks like he might have had a close call with a bow fisherman or something. I don't know, he's missing a few scales, but either way, nice little fish. Let's get him on his way. And they seem like they're really active right now, so let's take advantage and try to get a few more. Ooh, there's a nice fish. Probably a good 15 pounder right on the edge of that wood there. Moving super slowly, he looks catchable. Man, these carp are getting so much smarter. They're definitely catching on to me now that I've pulled a few of their friends out here. Uh, I mean, the first couple of carp were fairly aggressive. One of them even swam right to the fly right when I threw it in the water. Um, but now they're like swimming right up to it slowly. And then when they get like a foot or six inches away from it, they'll turn away and stir up a bunch of dust and scare all the other carp away. So, you know, the fish are definitely getting a little more weary around here. So I think it's time to move on, find some new fish, some fresh fish, and hopefully get that real big one. So let's keep walking. Okay, well it took a little bit of walking, but we made it to our next spot. It uh, looks really good. I've caught fish here before, so I'm pretty confident. Um, there's lots of overhanging branches that creates shade. Then you've got a little, a little tree in the water with some grass around it, and that's all a bunch of structure and shade for those fish as well. Um, so I can already see a few carp in the far back where I can't really fish, um, but that tells me there are carp around here, so I'm pretty confident. It um, just takes a little time to find some that come out and throw the fly to them. So hopefully we can get some nice fish, but let's get casting. Come on, come on. Got him, there we go, there we go. Finally, guys, right out of that hole I was talking about, and uh, we got a carp on. Please behave, don't go right where you're going. Okay, time to backpedal. He is going under the logs. This is not good. This is, okay, we're pulling him out. Nice. Come on, behave, please. Man, I like it when they go out in the open like this. I can actually use my drag and don't have to like hold my spool or anything. Nice. And this is a pretty nice sized carp. I think this is probably my biggest one so far today. Uh, I, I did see one giant carp earlier today. It was probably at least 20 pounds. Um, it was right in this pool actually, in this little like, structure area. And he was swimming right under the logs. He went right by my fly, but totally ignored it, of course. Either way, I'm super happy to finally get my third fish that I'm hopefully gonna land. I briefly hooked a few other fish earlier today, um, but this one's staying on pretty nicely and he's fighting well. And there we go. Definitely the best one I've caught so far today. Nice sized fish. Okay, and here's my third carp of the day. Great looking fish. Definitely bigger than the first two I caught. Um, still not a giant. I have seen some real big ones, which I keep saying that, but those bigger fish are just a lot harder to trick into eating the fly. I mean, these smaller fish are usually a lot more willing. So either way, good looking fish. It's starting off to be a real good evening. Let's get him back. There we go. Finally, that took so long. I, come on, stay out of there, stay out of there, stay out of there. Don't get me snagged, don't get me snagged. You cannot let these fish take too much line on that first little hook site normally. They go right for that log <laughs> every time. Tied my drag up here just a tad. There we go, come on, now he's going in the right direction. Big old head shakes from him. 
He does not like this. I don't really blame him though. Not a bad little carp. They're starting to get really finicky here as well. Just like the last spot where I was catching those carp. Uh, you catch a few here and then they start getting really smart and a lot more difficult to catch. I might be able to get one or two more. I kind of doubt it though. Cause it's been, I've been spending my time, you know, trying to get these few carp I've been catching. Well, I think this carp is getting pretty tired and so is my arm. So let's try to get him in here pretty quickly. I think we might have an opportunity right here. Perfect. And another great looking carp, probably about the same size as the last one, but let's get him right back in the water. And that's gonna be a wrap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and enjoyed watching it, maybe even learned a few things. Uh, it took a little while to find this carp, but finally got a few little schools going and I was able to catch a few fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you stay tuned for the next one and I will see you in my next video.